The future of the Army's warrior armoured vehicles, regarded by senior military figures as vital to major combat operations, has been secured after a long-awaited £1 billion upgrade was confirmed today. It means their role is safe through to 2040 and beyond. Prime Minister David Cameron and Defence Secretary Philip Hammond revealed the news during a visit to Lockheed Martin UK in Bedford. James Hurst has the details. The warrior has been in service with the army since 1989. It's seen action in the Balkans, Iraq and Afghanistan, and it will now be serving a lot longer. To date, the Prime Minister met some of those who rely on the warrior and got a chance to see inside one of the vehicles as he announced the government is going to spend a billion pounds upgrading hundreds of warriors to keep them in service until and beyond 2040. Warrior has been the workhorse and the battle winner for us in a number of campaigns, from the peace enforcement end of the spectrum up to full-blown combat uh, in, uh, in the Gulf, twice. And it's used day to day in some pretty aggressive roles in Afghanistan. And these upgrades are about you know, keeping pace with uh, changes in the battlefield over the next 20 odd years to make sure that Warrior keeps doing that. This upgrade programme will mean a string of improvements inside and out for the Warrior. There will be interchangeable armour so that it can be selected dependent on the territory and the threat. Inside there will be improved power packs and also an updated communication system. But perhaps most importantly, this vehicle is going to get much greater firepower. This prototype of the upgraded vehicle carries the new 40mm cannon, not only packing more of a punch than the current 30mm weapon, the new one can also be fired on the move. It is a very good vehicle, uh, to be honest. Uh, the Taliban out in theatre now actually fear it. They run away from it. So, from my experience, I think it's a very good vehicle. How much difference is this upgrade going to make to it, though? Well, I think it's a significant upgrade, particularly the turret and the weapon system. 30 mil at 1,500 metres was good, but 40 mil, same range, but more punch down range, will be a real quantum leap. These upgrades are long awaited by the army. But the need for big budget savings has delayed announcements before. Now, after a commitment to increases of at least 1% a year from 2015, ministers say they have got the money. There will be some people who see it as a legacy vehicle and go, mm, is that money better spent on new vehicles like Fred's? Um, the question has been asked, that's a fair question. And the answer is that this uh, upgrade programme provides the best value for money uh, delivering the best fighting capability uh, that the Army needs. Talking to the men here, uh, this vehicle has a very high level of confidence among the people who use it. Uh, it's proven in battle. The improved versions of Warrior won't be ready in time for the end of the Afghanistan campaign, but the Army says that was never the plan. This is about keeping a workhorse ready for the front lines of the future. James Hurst, Forces News, Bedford.